Hello everybody and welcome! 2021 has been an incredible year for space enthusiasts and 2022 is shaping up to be even more spectacular. So let's have a look at what we can expect in the coming 12 months. Fair warning, this list may not contain your personal favorite and it has a focus on things coming out of Europe. So if you think I missed something or if you don't agree with my ranking, please leave a comment and we can have a healthy discussion about it. Or you can do so over on my Discord server, link is in the description. Without further ado, here are the 10 most exciting space things to look out for in 2022. Number 10. Arian 6. I know, I know, it would have been fun to have Arian 6 at number 6, but I don't think it is as exciting as the other things on my list. Just a short while before making this video, we have seen a picture-perfect launch by Arian 5, Europe's current workhorse launch vehicle, sending the James Webb Space Telescope on its way. Arian 6 is the successor of said workers and will provide roughly the same capabilities, but at half the cost. It may not have the glamour that other new launch vehicles have, but a lot is riding on this to keep Europe and its space capabilities relevant for the coming years. Unfortunately, the development has been plagued by delays. At least the solid rocket boosters have already been delivered to the launch site in Kourou, so let's hope that the rest will arrive there soon as well. The upper stage is already on its way. From what I've heard, the first launch of Ariane 6 will probably take place mid-2022. And this is also leading up to my next item. Number 9. More private space. One of the first missions for Ariane 6 is going to be ALENA, the Autonomous Landing and Navigation Module by German company PTS Space. If successful, it will be the first private lunar lander and can supposedly deliver up to 100 kilograms of payload to the surface of the Moon. The first mission is going to be just a demonstration of the lander's capabilities. But there is going to be a lot of other private missions heading out of Earth's atmosphere. One of the first is going to be AX-1 by Axiom Space, set to launch in February. The mission is designed to deliver four people to the International Space Station using a Crew Dragon capsule by SpaceX, with veteran astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria taking over the role of spacecraft commander. The rest of the crew are some rich business people, which was to be expected. After an 8-day stay aboard the ISS, the crew and Crew Dragon will return to Earth. Axiom Space is an interesting one, because the company also plans to add private modules to the ISS, which then would be able to separate and be their own space station once the ISS will be decommissioned. But all of that is still a few years away. We also hope to see Boeing's Starliner capsule finally perform a successful orbital flight test. The first attempt failed almost exactly two years ago, in December 2019. In the meantime, the competitor SpaceX has successfully flown crew to the ISS three times and also performed the first private space mission with inspiration for just this year. Number 8. Dream Chaser on Vulcan Centaur. Ok, it's a bit of cheating, but I mashed two things into one here. First, the space plane Dream Chaser, developed by the Sierra Nevada Corporation. It is set to fly to the ISS in the second half of 2022 and stay there for roughly 80 days. The exciting bit is, this is going to be the first space plane to travel to the ISS since the Space Shuttle. And the second part of this item is the introduction of the Vulcan Center launch vehicle. Provided United Launch Alliance receives flight-ready BE-4 engines from Blue Origin, and that is unfortunately still a big if, we will see this new rocket enter the market. True to ULA tradition, it will come in a lot of configurations to fit different kinds of mission requirements, with 27 tons being the maximum payload it can deliver to low Earth orbit. The truly interesting part about this, though, is what ULA calls smart reusability. Due to their complexity, engines are the most expensive part of any rocket. 
ULA wants to jettison the bottom part of the rocket after the booster is spent and capture the engines in flight with a helicopter while they are descending on a parachute. That this is generally possible was already proven by Rocket Lab, who have captured a test article dropped from another helicopter. But doing this for a much larger engine assembly and with the added complexity of having to endure a re-entry first will be another level of difficulty. But we are not expected to already see this with the first Vulcan launches, but the rocket is set to take off for the first time in 2022. Number 7. ExoMars Rover In September 2022, a Russian Proton rocket will fly off to Mars, carrying a science platform called Kazachok and also the European rover Rosalind Franklin. Similar to NASA's Perseverance rover, it will use a drill to sample the Martian surface in an attempt to answer the age-old question whether or not there might have been life on the red planet in the past. The drill is designed to go to a depth of up to 2 meters even. Oh, and the name Rosalind Franklin? She was an English chemist who contributed to the understanding of the molecular structure of DNA, a fitting name for a rover searching for the building blocks of life on another planet. If all goes well, the mission will touch down on Mars nine months after launch. Number 6. SLS finally flies. Ah yes, the Space Launch System. Billions of dollars and more than a decade in the making. We will finally see the big orange rocket lift off from Cape Canaveral and send the Orion capsule around the moon and back to Earth as part of the still uncrewed Artemis 1 mission. This is of course part of NASA's plan to get back to the moon, this time to stay, as they say in their promo videos. Artemis is set to utilize the yet-to-be-built Lunar Gateway space station and a lander system which will wait there for crew to arrive, who will then switch from Orion to the lander, fly to the surface, return back to the gateway and then get back to Earth in Orion. However, this is still a few years away. First, the rocket has to perform and the maiden flight is currently set for March 2022. Will it happen though? We shall see. SLS launches have been delayed over and over again in the past, but since the rocket is now fully stacked inside the vehicle assembly building, things are looking good for a flight this time around. Number 5. DART DOES DAMAGE A year after its launch, NASA's double asteroid redirect test, DART in short, will make an impact. Literally. The spacecraft will crash into Dimorphos, a small asteroid orbiting a bigger asteroid, Didymos. The idea is to prove that humanity could prevent an asteroid impact on Earth if we can redirect such a space rock early enough. Multiple ideas were floated, but this is the first time a planetary defense system is being actually tested. And in October we will see if it is successful. In the meantime, you can revisit the Dart Range mod in Kerbal Space Program, which enables you to recreate that mission by adding such a double asteroid into the game, where you can actually change the smaller one's orbital parameters if you aim correctly and impact with enough force. Number 4. New ESA Astronauts Let's focus a little on Europe again. As you may remember, I applied to become an astronaut for the European Space Agency, but, unsurprisingly, ESA decided to not pick me for their program. I made a whole video about that, I'll link it below if you're interested. But there will be new members for the European Astronaut Corps announced next year. Or this year, depending when you watch this. The official timeline speaks of mid to late 2022. Four new astronauts will be added to the roster and a new astronaut reserve is going to be created for the first time. Also, ESA will select for the first time a para-astronaut, meaning a person with a disability that is going to fly to space for the agency. Definitely exciting times for European space fans and I can't wait to see who made the cut. Number 3. Kerbal Space Program 2 The original Kerbal Space Program was released more than a decade ago and it is still much loved by space fans around the world, including this one. 
This week I was teaching my son how to build an orbit-capable rocket and how to fly it safely. Somewhat. And I hope that the multiplayer mode of KSP2 will enable us to play as a family. At least me and my two sons, my wife is more into Animal Crossing. <laughs> the release of the game was postponed from Spring 2020 to 2021 and now to 2022. Probably the latter half of the year. If the developers don't mess this up, and there's no indication that they will, Kerbal Space Program 2 could be a new entry point for people of all ages interested in space to get involved a little more with the matter and to understand the concepts behind rock tree, orbital mechanics, etc. Number 2. Starship Orbital Flight Test you didn't think I would let this one slide, did you? SpaceX has been making massive strides with their development of Starship. At 120 meters tall, it is the largest rocket ever stacked. When it launches, it will be the most powerful rocket that has ever flown. The launch of Starship atop the Super Heavy booster is going to be a sight to behold and also to listen to. Remember the roar of just three Raptor engines when Starship performed its high-altitude flight tests? Now add a few dozen more to that and I'm pretty sure you're going to feel the Earth rumble miles away when that behemoth is going to lift off. Starship is supposed to be able to send 100 tons to low Earth orbit while being fully reusable. And NASA wants to use a modified version of Starship as its lunar lander for their Artemis missions. Starship is without a doubt the most exciting rocket engineering project of our time. And seeing it perform for the first time is going to be a literal blast. Fingers crossed we will be actually seeing this. Environmental approvals for utilizing the Boca Chica launch site for regular orbital flights are still outstanding and have delayed any attempts by SpaceX thus far. If Starship is just number two, what could possibly be number one, you may ask? Well, before we get into that, I need to quickly do a few honorable mentions that didn't quite make the list. Gaganyaan, India's first human-rated space capsule, will hopefully fly to orbit in 2022, but the real exciting stuff is the first Indian crewed mission set for 2023, so be patient for that next year. Falcon Heavy, SpaceX's current heavy lifter hasn't flown since 2019, but there are five expected Falcon Heavy launches in 2022. Which is exciting, but we've already seen it, so it didn't quite make the list. Vapi Colombo. The probe will perform its second flyby of Mercury, but there are going to be a lot more to follow in the coming years. Luna 25. Russia is sending a new lander to the moon after having done so in the 70s for the last time. New Glenn. Supposedly, the mythical heavy launch vehicle by Blue Origin will make its maiden flight in 2022, but we can't really know for sure with the company being as secretive as it is. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, here it is, my most exciting space thing to expect in the coming year. Number one, the James Webb Space Telescope. Yes, it has already launched, but we are going to see the first data and first science from this massive space observatory, if everything works out. As of recording of this video, Webb is still on its way to the Lagrange L2 point and going through its hundreds of deployment steps to finally be able to start observing the edge of the universe. As I said in my video I did about the telescope a while back, Webb is going to explore a lot farther than humanity was ever able to. It will be able to capture more light than the already very capable Hubble Space Telescope thanks to its larger mirror. Six meter in diameter compared to Hubble's two meters. And it will also be able to look into the infrared spectrum, which Hubble couldn't. This is necessary since the old light from the first galaxies that Webb will be looking for has redshifted due to expansion of the universe and is no longer visible to the human eye. But not only are we going to see these ancient stars, the instruments on Webb will also analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets. This way, scientists will be able to determine whether or not there is oxygen on any of these remote planets. And if there is oxygen, there may be life as we know it. Webb is also going to be able to observe our own solar system from Mars outward. Some hope that it could finally deliver an answer to the question whether or not there is another planet out there. 
All in all, there is going to be massive scientific progress this observatory will enable, and I cannot wait for the first discoveries that will be published based on data gathered by Webb. And that is why it is my number one most exciting space thing of 2022. What did you think of my list? Do you agree with it? What are the space things that you are looking forward to in 2022? Leave a comment below and let's have a healthy discussion. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.